So it's 2011 and the 50th year of Galant's publishing, the fabulous yellow jacketed publisher, which I always knew at the library to look for the yellow covers. And that's how I got into science fiction and fantasy from looking at the yellow covers. And so it's amazing to think that the book that I've written the introduction to, thank you very much, Flowers for Algernon, is going to be in a new yellow jacket. Yay, again. Um, Flowers for Algernon is one of my favorite science fiction books and one of the ones that I found most moving to read because it tells a story very close to my heart of a transition from a very childlike awareness of the world as it grows through an increasing consciousness and depth of perception to a very adult, very hyper-intelligent view and then back again down the other side of the slope. And across the course of that journey, um, we see how the hero, the protagonist's relationships with everybody changes and his relationship with the world and everything that he thinks about and how important it is to him. And um, there's also in the science fictional element, apart from the fact of his growing intelligence and then its loss, there's also this very um, warm series of relationships that he has to start with and his uh, journey leaving home and then going out and becoming an adult and growing up and then coming back again afterwards at the end. Um, it's quite a tragic story but that doesn't make it any the less absolutely heartwarming as well as heartbreaking and because it has this enormous emotional resonance that's why I love it so much.